Hi, this is Louis Soulful coming back with you. I'm getting ready to prepare some burritos for dinner. I have a tomato, onion, lettuce I'll be chopping up. And then I'm going to be using sour cream. I forgot to get it. I'm going to be using sour cream, salsa. I usually make my own homemade salsa, but I don't have everything for the salsa. So, I'm going to have shredded cheese. It's in the refrigerator. I have forgot to get it. Um, sour cream. Burrito. Sour cream, burrito bread, and I'm gonna like toast them a little. And I'm gonna be preparing this for the supper later on. So I'm just getting my stuff chopped up and everything right now. Yes, like I said, it's a cold day in Wisconsin on February the 15th. It is so cold up here. You're having a cold day. Give me comments how y'all weather is where you all are at. Um, but if you like these videos, please. Go down, push the bell, like, and subscribe. I'm um, chopping up onions. These are my onions that I am chopping. I have a chopper. I just haven't. I'm so used to chopping with a knife. And I... Like I said, I'm used to preparing my stuff before I um, get ready to cook. Um, I worked in, like I said, kitchen in the schools as a cafeteria um, cook in the kitchen for going on 10 years. And we had a time to prepare everything. We had to have it ready before a certain time was up. Cause we had, remember we were preparing lunch and stuff for the children in the school. Different lunch hour, we had to have everything ready. So, like I said, this is a time frame for me to have everything ready and done. Um, I got, like I said, I add shredded cheese, some like the olives. Like if I were preparing it for a nacho, I would use olives black beans, corn, on my nachos with hot peppers. Okay, these are my onions I got prepared already. Cut up, I'm gonna put them to the side. And go into my lettuce. I cook it prepared. I like to cut it up well chopped for my um, burritos that I'm up here. So I'm, I might be eating tacos. I have taco shells as well. But I know most of them, like my grandbabies, I try to do the soft shells for them. I've been, I done washed all my vegetables. My onions, tomatoes, and my lettuce has been washed 
you're supposed to wash it before you even start chopping. So I have that all washed, and I'm just preparing my, like I said, preparing my stuff for the burritos. One of my husband's favorite, my son's favorite, and my grandbaby. The oldest one that is four years old, he loves tacos and burritos, but they like the soft shell. So I'm preparing the lettuce and stuff. I have a picky so older son. My son, only son, rather, he's picky. He's just like eating cheese in the meat on his um burrito. Um I, my husband thinking I'm going to cut my hand. He said, watch your finger, watch your fingers, watch your fingers, because I'll go quick. I like doing my stuff real quick. That's how I was taught when I was working into the school system. I'm back. Um, like I said, I'm going to cut up my tomato. I, I have cut up the lettuce and the onions. Now I'm preparing to cut up my tomato for the um, burritos. And I have prepared my meat. And what I added my meat is some fruit dry onions and taco seasoning and garlic. Okay, I'm gonna be cutting up my tomato. I slice first. Then I go the other way and chop. Yes. Just so I'm then come right this way. Just a moment. Knife is getting dug. So I'm gonna have to get them sharpened up again. They're dubbing up, but I'm about finished already with my tomatoes. I do a good gumbo too. I'm going to end up one day trying that too, and then y'all see how I do my gumbo, what all I add in it. My sister, that's DC. She loved it. She loved it to um, eat gumbo, and she loved it me to season it for her, help her with it. She's gone resting in peace now. I miss her. She was the oldest. She, I was next to her. We lost her due, during this pandemic. It wasn't due to COVID, though. And it's just a hard time. And it's May 12th coming up be a, a year she's gone because we lost the last May 12th and so I'll be glad when the um, society get back to where it's supposed to be at due to the pandemic I'm finishing up my tomato. I done finished them up. So I have my tomatoes chopped up. My lettuce, tomatoes, and I'm going to be preparing nachos. I mean, burritos. So until I'm going to start my meat to warming up because I had pre cooked it already. I'm going to get it back warmed up. I'm back. I'm getting um, my uh, 
pan ready to deep um kind of brown my um to brown my um burrito breads for the burritos and so I'm going to be browning those and these are the burrito grits that I am making them with you might see right here lay bread burritos bread so I'm going to be browning some of these for the burritos and I will get back with you buttering my burrito bread down and then I will be browning take a little butter spread it on there enough to give it a brown color on this side. Then I'm going to lay them onto my bowl. Next, I'm going to get another one. Got my bowl to the side while I'm browning them. Start browning them. Okay. Okay. I'll pause for a minute. Finishing up the um burritos. Okay. This is what I'll be preparing on the burrito. Shredded cheese, mild or hot salsa, mild or hot, and sour cream. So, I've got the burrito bread ready and my stuff chopped up so I'm gonna be opening up this sour cream and preparing what would you like it where would you like the bread right here I will be getting a plate My meat. My meat should be ready. It's in the thing. It's already. See, is it warm enough? Check that for me. About door in the back. Gonna give me a little help. You want it? I'll be coming with. I'll be coming with, where is my spoon at, Tara? Just, I'm going to put a little sour cream on the bread at like a spread. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. My hands is clean, so I'm going to use my hand. I'm going to come with some lettuce. Lettuce on there. A few tomatoes. And onions. I'm just doing a sample of the burrito. Showing you how I prepare it. Then I'm going to be putting my meat. It's to the side right here. On the onto the burrito, I'm gonna be putting meat. Okay, and then I'm gonna be adding the cheese. This is mild, freshly shredded cheddar um, taco cheese. So I'm gonna be sprinkling some over to the, over the top of the burrito, and I'm gonna put a sauce. I'm gonna put a mild one. Try, try mild. It's my some of my kids like um, the um, peppers, hot peppers on it. You can add hot peppers if you want. There we go. So I'm going to be adding some salsa onto the burrito. And I'm going to add some more onions. This sound like a lot of onions. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some sour cream right down the middle. Then I take it, fold it up, and over like a blanket. No, fold it back up at the top and fold it like a blanket over and over and here you have a nice burrito as you see a nice burrito and if you want to You can garnish it. You can put a toothpick and hold there to hold it in place. And you see, I have made a burrito. And the hot peppers, um, mm -hmm. if you want to, you can add some hot peppers. Hot peppers. hot peppers into it. Sliced up peppers. I buy them in the can. You can just add them to the side if you don't want them onto the um, burrito. And you have your nice burrito. Until we speak and meet again, this is Louise Soul Food coming to you. Tell friends. Tell family. You can go down and push the bell, subscribe, and like, and get, leave a comment on the video or on my other videos you have seen. Like I said, this is an upcoming channel. And may God bless you all. A good evening. Peace out. I'm back. I'm going to give you a thumbnail and a taste. I'm going to get praying first.
Amen. Okay, I am going to give you a thumbnail. This is with a pepper and a burrito. Okay, now I'm going to give you a taste of it. Mmm. Have a bite. Mmm. So delicious. I think my daughter waiting to get some. Yeah, I'm in my... Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Have a piece of pepper. It's great. Okay, now we are tuning, getting ready to tune out. I'm going to give you another bite and tune out. It can give you a little more salsa. Until we meet again, I'm sounding off.